Hi, today I have another population genetics video for you and today I have two multiply choice questions so you can stop video here, read the questions, answers, make your choices and then you can run video again and compare your answer with my answers and explanations. So here is the first question. Which of the following might cause the bottleneck effect and uh, answer E. Mutations and mutations uh, on the contrary increase um, genetic uh, variability, uh, it causes uh, formation of the new alleles and um, this also causes uh, evolution. So we have to cross out this uh, answer and answer D, random mating. Random mating uh, also uh, stabilizes population, stabilizes uh, this gene pool so we have to cross out this answer and answer C, non-random weighting and uh, example would be population of the peacocks where female choose male uh, mate depending on its coloration so there might be some shifts in the alleles so not successful males wouldn't uh, be able to reproduce and give uh, the genotype and allele uh, alleles to the progeny, so this might cause um, a shift in the allele frequencies in this gene pool, so we have to cross out this answer also, this doesn't answer our question, and um, answer B uh, and answer A left only, so answer A colonization of the new island, and uh, this called uh, founder effect so we only left with answer B, large-scale uh, indiscriminate killing uh, cause a bottleneck effect and also some natural disasters also may um, cause bottleneck effect when just few representative of the population left and uh, uh, genetic variability is also greatly reduced just like uh, in the bottleneck. So this correct answer, answer B. And uh, second question is why is there a taboo on marrying close relatives? And answer A, this results in increased mutations. Those you probably think that this is a correct answer because uh, as you know there are more genetic diseases in the progeny of such uh, consanguineous matings. But uh, in reality uh, marrying of the close relatives does not increase uh, mutations. So this is not the correct answer. So we have to cross out it. And answer B, this results in increased homozygous dominance. This is true. The level of the homozygosity uh, increase with each round of the inbreeding. But um, homozygous dominant doesn't cause uh, any genetic diseases in the progeny. So this is uh, cannot be the reason for the taboo of uh, marrying close relatives. So those this answer correct, but it's correct only on the path. So we have to cross out this also. And uh, answer C, allelic exclusion, means that uh, when we have two alleles for the same gene, uh, only one allele would be expressed and uh, protein would be made, and the other allele uh, would be excluded and uh, it would be silenced. So we have to cross this answer also. So now we have only two answers left, uh, D and E, and answer D, there is no reason close relatives should not get married, and this is also incorrect answer, because there is a reason, and the reason is answer E. This increases the number of the homozygous recessive. And this is a correct answer because uh, when we have uh, with the homozygous dominant form of the um, alleles, uh, the phenotype would be normal. We wouldn't have any disease if they are going to be uh, heterozygous form when one uh, allele uh, would be defective and another would be normal, we still uh, if it is not a uh, uh, dominant uh, disease, 
uh, then in this case uh, normal allele would produce normal protein and the phenotype also would be normal. But most of the uh, uh, genetic diseases are recessive, I would say more than probably 95 or 99 percent. So uh, when we, with each round of the inbreeding, we have uh, more homozygous dominant and more homozygous recessive by 50 percent. And um, this uh, homozygous recessive would lead to some uh, genetic disorders. So this is uh, the reason why there is taboo on marrying close relatives. So our choice is answer E. And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe to my new video that I post almost every day. Goodbye.